You guys, isn't this the cutest thing you've ever seen? This is so cute. I can't even handle it. Look at our happy pandas. They are just chomping away at their food. This is so adorable. We have Mimi with her son, Al Al, here. Oh, look at the size of Anne. Oh, she just seems like an elder panda. And look at her go. She has been with us for quite a while. How long do pandas normally live? I need a refresher on that because I'm getting a little nervous about what's going to happen. <gasps> okay, okay. I saw age of sexual sterility and I like panicked. Life expectancy is normally 20 years and Anne is pushing 25. Look at this baby. He's so cute. Oh my gosh. And I finally learned how to hide the UI. It is right control, right shift and G for those of you guys trying to figure it out. And Anne, we have a three generation picture right here of our pandas. We have Anne watching over Mimi while Mimi watches over Al Al. And we have three generations of pandas here. I just, I can't even get over that. That is so freaking amazing. Uh, so now that we have come over to bask on this more peaceful side of our zoo, it is time to pop back over. Uh oh, why do these guys have low welfare? Oh, you guys just need to get to where it's cool, my friends. There's plenty of cool spots for you. All right, the, I, I came to check on the macaques because, come on, we already have taken, like, a lot of... Like, they're, they're one of the species that <laughs> they have actually kind of thrived through neglect, like the flamingos. This flamingo is actually about to age up and mature. We're going to come back and we're actually going to start putting some of our younger flamingos who have aged up and they have matured and they are good to go and they don't have mates. We're actually going to start putting some of them up onto the market and see if we can get anything uh, with them from the market. So we're going to look at that in a little bit, but we need to return to our wolves because this is reaching like mission critical at taking care of our wolves. So now that we have series folly up and it seems to be working this time. So the wolves are not like panicking. We're going to come in and we are going to try to give the wolves more enrichment. We are going to try to better their habitat. Apparently they are really hot right now, which is not good. And before we do anything else, let's go ahead and get some coolers in here. I think these coolers should be hopefully okay actually i think we don't have any power to these oh siri 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 there is so much to think about when it comes to taking good care of and expanding here we'll get a little just a little little tiny wind turbine right over here hopefully these will be enough maybe we'll get two of them those should be enough to keep everything running those are very expensive we'll have one of them never mind all right, so hopefully that will keep this up because we need this door functional. It's an electric door. And if we don't have electricity, surprise, surprise, the electric door isn't going to work. Um, what do we have down here? Okay, we have repairs to the log fencing. And let's get some cooling for our, red, our wolves. They're not red wolves, but they're beautiful, glorious wolves. And we'll make the land a little bit cooler for them so that they don't need to worry, especially up on the mountain. Okay, actually, oh, some of that isn't gonna be covered. I see. Okay, we need to make sure that it is inside of the power range or else it won't get cool. So I think we're gonna need to have a kind of like hidden away. Yeah, we're gonna have to have like a hidden away power supply for these guys. <laughs> Because otherwise it's not going to work and I wonder if we can make a tunnel to go under here and let's try that Let's try that. I'm, I'm that desperate to try to make this idea work. So we're actually going to make a path Under so we're gonna do some tunneling under here and I think if I come this way and I turn on tunneling and I Delete this path to give us some room. This is to save our wolves. Welcome to our daily adventures here in Zudasia Zoo, where we learn how to do so many things in order to save our wolves. All right. Yeah, look at that. Oh, look at that. We're making a tunnel. <gasps> We're making a tunnel. This is so cool. Hopefully our zookeepers and everyone else can get in here. Oh, geez. I think we might have to smooth the tunnel out. But look at this. 
Oh my gosh. Okay, now that I know how to do this, we're going to be adding in tunnels in so many places. But now we just need to come in. We're not... Yeah, we're underground still. So that's good. Dig our way towards the wolves. It's very dark back here. We're going to go ahead and grab... Can I put down... Okay, we need to smooth out the terrain here. This is so surreal. Look at what we're up to. Now I'm tunneling into the ground to be able to like take care of my wolves. I am awed by the things that you can do. Hopefully this idea works. So we need a transformer. <gasps> it works. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh okay i cannot send my staff down here in the like literal pitch dark so can i put in oh my gosh can i put in like a street lamp <laughs> okay what about no hanging lights hanging lights that would make so much more sense all right we need to like rotate them oh wall lights that would work okay let's get the wall light flipped i didn't realize we had researched wall lights i need my I need more mechanic research. I haven't been having my mechanics churn out nearly as much as they used to. So I just need to have an engineer like group basically. Okay, so let's copy that. And we're gonna have And then I guess they can walk through here if like it indicates that they can. So then I need these two paths to connect and we've made like a little mini tunnel. Okay, actually, <laughs> I see what's wrong. Okay, back all of this up, back all of this up. Now we're gonna go ahead and instead of tunneling, I'm gonna turn off tunneling. There. And now you can go past wolf tunnel is what we'll call that and maybe i'll add in like a bunch of rocks so that they can see that but there man it is much harder to build a new exhibit for our wolves than i thought it was going to be you cannot just be like yeah there i built a i built a square threw in some wolves it's fine because now we should actually have it yes i think maybe is that in a, a zone yes it is in a zone that is actually going to be taken care of by the power and without that we wouldn't have it taken care of by the power and our wolves would still be super overheated okay very good to know all right so let's put one inside of the den over here and then we'll put another one on top of this mountain and we'll begin to cool all of that off also i hope the wolves do they have access to water now that i had to block it off so hard these guys do and those guys do. Okay, they have access to water. Sweet. All right. <laughs> well, now that we've started that and we have a couple coolers that should hopefully make things better. Where are the wolves? Jeez, no wonder no one's come to see them yet. Like we're out in the boondocks trying to find everyone. There's Sol. All right, he needs his terrain to be better. Severely inappropriate. All right, it is time friends. Back to correcting these places for our wolves. We're on this. Baby pandas are eating, pangolins are passing on of old age and having more pangolins, and the wolves will rise. Oh, there we go. Man, our daily adventures here. You would think it showing up at our zoo and like being the best zookeeper that we can be every day would make things like much better for our animals. But we're still just like scrambling to stay ahead all of the time. All right, good. And one of the flamingos has matured. So I'm actually going to want to go ahead. Let's put this back here. There. Yeah, I'm going to want to go ahead and actually see if we can put some of the flamingos up for adoption soon. That's too much soil now. So we're going to transform the back area into rocks. Some of the mechanic research is complete! Huzzah! I needed that. So we'll check that out in a bit. Oh, we have so much to try to improve. Yes! 
Yes, the terrain is in line, finally. Oh, okay, so that's one down. Uh, oh, Mimi, why are you? Oh, Mimi, you'll be fine. Mimi, wait, okay, that's not a crate. I thought somebody was crated for a second. We're good, we're good. We're gonna take care of the wolves. Hang in there, hang in there. All right, <gasps> holy cow, mechanics. That's food shops, power, staff facilities, shelter, sweet. All right, all right, all right. Mechanic freak, let's go ahead and get you assigned to making our habitats better, I think. Or transport rides, yes, because people are gonna be so exhausted trying to haul themselves all the way back. Uh, and mechanic Haley, uh, no, no, mechanic purple is the one assigned to the wolf exhibits, I think. Let me check that really quickly, because it'll be this mechanic. Okay, Jelly, are you not assigned to like any particular- No, Jelly, it's Mechanic Jelly. All right, so when Mechanic Jelly is not busy repairing things, we're gonna have Mechanic Jelly do research on the New World theme so we can update all of these places to look like little cabins. Phew, man, there's so much going on. And Saucer the Pangolin is already about to mature. Didn't I just name Saucer last time? Yeah, for Sands. Oh my gosh. All right, let's do this. Soul? We need to go ahead and make a good... Okay, apparently Soul feels that there's enough hard shelters. But I want to actually put in... Ooh, what do we have here? <gasps> Ooh, classic shelters and African shelters now? Sweet! We've discovered a whole bunch of new things. Wow, there's climbing frames, metal shelters. There's a musical keyboard enrichment. Who is that for? There's a termite mound <gasps> for the pangolins? Oh, there's so much to do. So much! I just need the bedding for right now. The large animal bedding. Here we go. And we're gonna make a couple dens for our wolves really quickly. So that they know... There. Where they can rest. And then we're gonna come down for the forest den. And what I want to do is I want to make one kind of... The forest wolf pack, I mean. And I want to make one den that goes into here. And then I want to make one den that kind of goes into here, but will be also covered by a bunch of fallen trees. So, but I love making like more naturalistic dens. All right, sculpting. Let's go ahead and push. Woo, that's a little too much. All right, there we go. And then we're going to go ahead and pull. Oh, cool. I kind of like the way that had that effect. All right, habitat. Let's get that bedding in here. And that way they know they can rest together at the little entrance that they've got. Maybe I can even put like a little bit of water at the back because I made a, an accidental little spot. So now they have a little bit of water at the back of their den. I don't mind that. And we're gonna change the top, make it rocky. Oh, this reminds me of the den in Wolf Quest. 2.7 that you can have that's on top of like a bunch of uh the the, the rock den the Asp not the aspen heights den you guys know the bear butt biting den that'll be a good reference for our wolf quest viewers <laughs> they'll get it all right let's see let's go ahead and push no 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 push 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 in there we go so here's another den yeah, this helps when you actually like come back and you pull at the top. I've not really been doing that with my digging before, but it really creates a much more naturalistic look. Okay, and then let's come in. Put that large bedding down. Hopefully they feel nice and safe and secure. We're gonna change this to a rocky topping. Hang in there, wolves. We're coming for ya. All right, and let's see what else we can do for Luna and Soul to get our wolves happy and to hopefully get them to the point where guests will want to come all the way back here <laughs> to see what's happening with them. So mostly they want enrichment and then otherwise it looks like they're fine with no plants, but they will accept tons of plants and plants we will give them. So what kind of enrichment can we give our wolves? Let's see. They need species enrichment for food and toys. Whoops, not animal trading. All right, oh, and Saucer has matured. <gasps> I'm so proud. We might actually think about like giving a pangolin or two away, but maybe we'll just build up a huge breeding population first because <laughs> we've got so many pangolins and that's a great thing. 
All right, timber wolves. Do I have anything that I can give them? There's a cool wolf den, but I don't have all those objects unlocked. Okay. Oh, all. There we go. There we go. Oh, they can have blocks of ice. That's so cool. There's the food trays. Cardboard boxes. Sprinklers. <laughs> okay. They like to play with small balls, apparently. So let's add in a small ball. Let's actually put a sprinkler down over here. We'll make like a little pool and they can play with that. And they need food enrichment, which I don't have just yet, actually. But we'll work on that. And let's put a sprinkler over here as well. Hopefully that'll work. And then we'll put down a small ball over here for these guys too. And we'll kind of, actually we'll take away the small ball and let's give them a cardboard box so that we can see the differences in some of their behaviors. And we need food enrichment. Oh, they're howling. But we don't yet have the research on the timber wolves done to get said food enrichment. Many guys think the tickets are underpriced. Good, I need more money. 14 and five kids hopefully that'll work all right we'll see how that works uh all right well clearly come on this is like, we're getting there but we need to do something to make this place even more amazing and make it even better for our wolves so luna what kind of trees do you want let's go with some nice plants here all right so we are looking for the taiga temperate and tundra biomes and we are looking for the European, North American, and Asian plants. There we go. So anything in that range we can add on in. So what do we have? Ooh, beech trees. Oh, wow. Look at how big they are already. Spruce trees. I want to add in a ton of spruce trees too. I think we'll probably stick to like one. Ooh, bramble bushes. Yes. <gasps> Mechanic research is complete. On what? Yes, shelters and climbing. We have even more shelters and even more climbing for our wolves now, or for everybody now. I've got wolves on the brain. So let's have Mechanic Butter work on habitats then. Because we've almost researched everything we need. We might have to like disband some of our mechanics <laughs> or just retrain them for the day that will finally come where we need to have them help us. All right, so let's get some spruce trees over here. I think that would be a good start. Holy big, huge tree. Look at these. Oh, we have a protester. I don't even know what they're protesting. I don't even know where they are protesting. So we'll have to check that out. All right, look at these. Oh, so much better. Some gorgeous trees. We'll fill in the back with more little spruce have a bit of a forest back here. We'll try not to make so many that they can't really get around. And spruce trees are usually pretty jealous of their space. They have those pine needles that are gonna make it easy for them to be able to... Oh, what's going on down there? Are they playing or fighting? Oh, they're fighting! Luna, Soul! Is Soul just- Oh, Soul is injured! We need to call the vet! Oh my gosh! Soul and Luna are both injured! What the heck was that about? Maybe they need more food enrichment. Man, they fought so fiercely! Maybe it's because everything is, like, changing. Oh man, hang in there, you guys! Hopefully they won't do that again and things will calm down, but we'll keep an eye on them. The vet is on her way to come and try to take care of them. All right, and the mountain is looking a little better. So I feel really bad for that. We might need to get a second vet over here. I mean, that could potentially serious injury discovered. Okay. All right, let's hire a second vet because we might need another vet for this, which means we would need another vet area though. Oh, I need to be doing my research. Luna, hang in there, Luna. All right, the vet is here. Oh, hang in there, Luna. I can't believe that. 
Is this version of Soul just too aggressive to have as a mate? That may potentially be a possibility. I'm worried about her. Normally, I, I don't get quite so worried, but another one of the vets is on the way. Wait, where's Luna? Are they taking her all the way to, like, another... Luna? Luna? The first guests are making it over here to see our wolves. Luna? Oh, here, here. Is this Luna? Luna, girl! <gasps> Luna! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! This is so dramatic to see her here. I hope that that fight doesn't happen again. Why are wolves so aggressive with each other? My gosh, I was hoping, I mean, these two, maybe they don't click as mates and I should swap them with the other wolves and see if that, that helps. Soul is off now getting taken care of, so hopefully he'll be fine. But what tragic drama we have, friends. Just as we were getting everybody like comfy and cozy and we were dreaming about wonderful, wonderful, like happy wolves having this whole beautiful mountainside that we're preparing for them, then they have this huge fight. So, I mean, that's normal for them to fight, but we're gonna have to see how things turn out. Also, I feel like people would have a really hard time getting a good view of a lot of our wolves from here, just here. So we might make a this into a bridge and have a secondary staff bridge connect over here. That seems like it'd be really cool because then you could see up the mountainside. All right, you okay, Luna? I hope so. All right, she's returning back to their home. We need to get in some food enrichment for them. Wow, and the way the mountain rises here, we should definitely cover it in a little bit of snow for them. Oof, all right, and then what do we have over here? More staff facilities! Finally! Better staff facilities! So we can start working on that for them. Thank goodness. That is going to be like the classic staff facilities, the African orange, uh, or the African origin staff facilities, and the bigger quarantine. Oh, that's exactly what we need. Okay, we're working on that. The Indian keeper huts and staff lounges. Hopefully we'll get the bigger, yes, the large keeper huts for East Asian, which means we're gonna have more of that going down. Oh, Luna, all battle scarred now. I'm sorry things are not working out with Soul. We'll figure that out, Luna. Hang in there, girl. But all right, guys, thank you so much for joining me. We are finally, finally, finally making, oh, look at her yawn. We're finally making a little progress on building up a beautiful mountain for our wolf pack to hopefully thrive in. And I I don't know, maybe Soul isn't supposed to be her mate and the conflict will be so fierce. Oh, is he back? Oof. Oof. He's escaped three times, fights and injuries once, but he's back. And maybe we'll have a little bit of peace back here. We'll have to see. And our pangolin, meanwhile, are maturing left and right. And we'll have to do something about that. But all right, guys, thank you so much. If you could, do please leave a like for our evolving wolf packs for all of their struggles and triumphs. And if you would like to join us on this and literally, th thanks, Luna, literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But <gasps> most importantly, I will see you next time and we will mourn the death of... Oh!